All right, well, I'm less confident in my spear choice now, but... I'm already pressed for time as it is. Mother's waiting for me on the wharf. Originally, I thought, oh, there's like four of them. Man, I don't have any more manuscripts either. Okay. Originally, we thought there were four. <laughs> and turns out that there's a hell of a lot more in there. And we didn't even find them all. And when we went back through there, like, I feel like we went through there with a fine-tooth comb. So, yeah. A bit concerned that we didn't pick the right one, but... Cliche. Sticking your nose everywhere I get. We'll wow. see. What's the matter with him? Excuse me, monsieur. I don't follow you. I haven't come all this way just to fail so close to the goal. Why? What are you talking about? I am talking so everything about costs plus doing. one right now? This conference is going to boost my career. There is no question of me letting you ruin everything. I just surprised Piaget and Volner talking. You are about to rob Mortimer. What? Give me what you took from him immediately. Let's keep calm, please. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I'll have to cut this short quick. You hit him? <laughs> Look, I don't know what you're going on about, and I don't have time for this right now. Don't think on getting oh, rid of boy. me so easily, Deriche. Where have you been? Trust me. Did Lord Mortimer tell you you could trust me? Yes, but... So, I'm working for him right now, and you're wasting my time with your questions. I... Look, if he hasn't taken you into his confidence, then you shouldn't know yet. I'll soon figure out what you are up to. And I am convinced that you have indeed robbed Mortimer. The game is up. Give me what you took from him. You know, Relax. it's becoming an obsession with you. Show me what you are carrying, or I will call the servants. Get him in a muddle? Remind me, who did you hear making those alleged charges against me? His Eminence Piaget and Monsieur von Volner were discussing them when I joined them. And remind me, during the conference, which side were his Eminence and Mr. von Volner on? I... Uh, Sir Gregory. But uh, what has that got to do with it? And did it not occur to you for a single instant <laughs> that they might have been speaking about me in front of you on purpose to manipulate you? I trust them to detect novices who are likely to be taken in, yes. Those sons of whores. <laughs> ah, so that's how they see that's me. Funny. Be careful to make sure the conference keeps on going ahead smoothly, though. Please. It would grieve me to have to report you to Lord Mortimer. No, no, of course. I'll make sure those two bastards get what they've got coming. Right. We'll leave it there. I'm glad that things have been cleared up. So, are we finished here? Indeed we are. I shall leave you. That's right. Go play somewhere else. See you later, monsieur. Come on. I have to hurry up and join my mother at the wharf now. We haven't been out to that wharf in forever, so... Uh, let's take a look at the map from here. First floor. Portrait gallery. Stairs to the left. And this is the entrance. So we, we have to just basically go... We have to go all the way around, regardless. Now I guess we could have cured this. And I should have done that. And I should have done... I should have eaten some of the jelly there, right now. Before we cured that. Atrus, the Miller brothers. Mother expressly forbade me from reading it. Yeah, I didn't... I don't know why I didn't consider that something we could cure, but... It's intense, man. There's a lot of decisions to make, and they're difficult to make. Am I disturbing you? Monsieur de Richet, it seems you are everywhere. I've Was heard Mr. That. Von Volner able to help you? Help me? Yes. For your armillary sphere. Oh, oh he's yes, throwing that. back. Louis, everything all right? I, yes, yes, <laughs> excuse me, I, I was miles away. Oh, while you're here, you wouldn't know who the last guest is, would you? What do you mean? I heard Sir Gregory speaking about it. A certain Al-Asif, oh. <laughs> something or other. <laughs> yeah. Who? Obviously not. It's not important, forget it. No, yeah, no, no, Al-Asif. It doesn't matter, I'm telling you. We'll find out soon enough. 
I'm in a hurry right now. I, I'm waiting for someone. Uh, see you later, Louis. Oh, shit. I haven't time either. See you later. You're in a hurry waiting for someone? Okay. So Sir Gregory was talking about Alazif as well. Uh-oh. Ah, Louis. Perfect timing. As Is it? luck would have it. Come, my boy. I would like to have a word with you. Frick. Come closer, please. It's time we had a little chat. What's... what's wrong, my lord? Um, uh, tell me. What's with all the bodyguards? Louis, it's time you found out the truth. I've been observing you since you arrived. I see you running all over the grounds in the search of Sarah. I would like to prevent her from leading you even further down the wrong road. Uh... You see, Sarah and I have known each other for a very long time, Louis. I am aware of her theory. About me? About Gregory? About the demons? I'm just listening. She's right. Look at me. Was I sitting? I have inhabited this body since 1191. For Whoa. the last 600 years. He's fetching up. Years, I have been this dear William Mortimer. What? But why me? Why tell me this? Why do I tell you about the greatest secret ever revealed to man? Yeah, are you going to kill me? That's right. I'm coming to that. Don't worry. How would you qualify your species, scientifically? Hmm, good question. What is your area of expertise? Huh. <laughs> well, science, science, science. Let's go biology. I would say biology. So, I would class demons along with parasites. The comparison's okay. not very flattering. You live inside a host and you feed on that host. Do you not? A large number of parasites are essential to the survival of their bearer, you know. We do indeed choose a host, we enter inside them, and we evolve with them. Jesus. But if you prefer a more philosophical approach, or a more poetical one, consider us as an idea. We are an idea that penetrates the human spirit. But in fact, in no way are we a danger for our hosts. Quite the contrary. We strengthen them. Hmm. Why should I trust you? I'm not asking you to, Louis. If you are still in doubt about the demons, I can assure you that won't last long. <laughs> I don't know if I feel about that. What are the demons' projects for humanity? Our aim has long since been to protect humanity from itself. How's that work? And although we give them the impulse to succeed, we don't all agree as to the path they take to achieve it. What has my mother got to do with all this? She embarked on a crusade many years ago to kill all the demons. That must have upset you. I imagine you retaliated. No. I'm afraid she never forgave me. Forgave what? We met when she was still just a young woman. I appeared to her in a different form because I didn't mm. want to reveal the identity of Lord Mortimer at that time. She was looking for someone interested in the occult to decipher an oh. ancient book. We spent many years together until I revealed my true nature to her. The old book was Alazif, wasn't it? Did she speak about it? Not so long ago, yes. Indeed, it was already Al-Azif. She wanted to unlock the secrets. So he got her on this whole thing. And you truly have the power to manipulate the thoughts of men. That's right. Every demon has the capacity to infiltrate the minds of men and to read and steer their thoughts. And what do you do with this power? We help them, of course. It's too much control. And how is it you help men exactly? Let's just say that without us, man would probably never have left his cave. Fire, the wheel, tools, writing, 
We are the spark that inspires man to search, to grow, to evolve. Can you tell me more about your capacities, your supernatural powers? Supernatural? From my point of view, they are perfectly natural. Well, Louis, just because the monkey does not fly doesn't mean that we should consider the bird a supernatural creature. We are all part of a grand design. We are simply made like this. By developing our art, we are able to read thoughts as well as write in the minds of men. It is possible for us to make them bow to our desire, but it doesn't work without leaving some scars. So then how do you even know what's real if they can manipulate everyone? Lucifer, the fallen archangel, left heaven accompanied by 133,306,668 angels. What? Is it true that there are that many of you? No, I assure you, Louis. Forget your Bible class. It's <laughs> ridiculous. We are not angels. Okay. We don't have wings. There is certainly nowhere near a million of us. And for that matter, no sacred human text represents us correctly. There are several families. And the family to which I belong has eight siblings, including Gregory and myself. Sir Gregory is your brother? Yes. Oh, what can okay. I say? <laughs> you can't choose your family. But it is very difficult to know exactly how many of us there are because a large number of our kind remain hidden or never reveal themselves even to us. And they can't, like, detect it or anything? You've been Mortimer for 600 years? How long have the demons been among mankind? Oh, I don't think I'd be lying if I said that we have always been here. If I follow oh, you, whoops. you must have witnessed some of the greatest moments in history. <laughs> you could certainly say that, yes. Well, okay. This will be interesting, you nonetheless. You seem to be fascinated by Christ. He... You weren't him, were you? <laughs> oh, no, no. No, not at all. He was my father, though. What? Strange as it seems. I beg your pardon? Am I dreaming? Oh, please tell me I'm dreaming. We should have the chance to talk about all that again later, but yes, yes. <laughs> You're just going to leave father. me on that? All the mythology surrounding Jesus of Nazareth really stems from my father's prideful need to show himself among men. Hmm. Did you know ancient Greece? In many ways, yes. One day Pericles, the next Parmenides. Just the memory of the time I spent working on acoustics with Pythagoras. Well, it, it moves me quite deeply, to tell the truth. Pericles. He's the one who brought Athens to its golden age, isn't he? Mm -hmm. In a way, yes. He established democracy and then died during an epidemic. It wasn't so long after his two sons passed away. Isn't that right? Excuse me, Louis. I, I would rather mm. not relive any more of that, if you don't mind. Did you know ancient Egypt? Oh, yes, yes. We were gods on earth in those days. What did men call you then? Amenhotep IV. The, the tenth pharaoh of the 18th dynasty? Jesus. Ooh, this is some history. I you're a connoisseur, Louis. Impressive. Did you experience ancient Rome? Oh, yes. Luxury and decadence, Louis. My family did indeed reign supreme. But from this period, I retain only the works of my friend, Marcus Vitruvius Polio. I've noticed that you have a passion for the Crusades. Among other things, yes. Mainly the Third. It was during the Siege of St. Joan of Arc that I took possession of Lord Mortimer. And you've never changed skins or bodies since? I have used other envelopes, but only to carry out very short tasks. What happens Apart to your current that, envelope indeed, when that happens? I have been able to retain the identity of William Alexander Mortimer throughout the centuries. You're the devil incarnate. The devil? <laughs> I'm not saying that all Judeo-Christian folklore hasn't served us, but the truth is, of course, something quite different. Please, don't look at us through the primitive prism of religions. That's the I tough thing, right? Is horns or goat's feet, Louis. Even if you're not religious, that's the lens no that you see this through. 
Why do you bring up folklore? You mean that you've taken advantage of people's beliefs? Damn right, no, yes. not exactly. I mean that we, in fact, created them from scratch. It is amazing to see how mankind has such a strong need to believe in something superior to itself. It was very instructive for what was to come. Okay, so I think that's everything. Continue. Louis, <laughs> it's time you opened your eyes. Continue. Come. You'll soon see. After you. I want to go outside, actually. Elizabeth. Did what happened to Elizabeth Adams have anything to do with you? Mm, unfortunately, the poor girl became an issue between us, in spite of herself. You think? A family of demons is still a family. And as in all families, there are disputes. Elizabeth's family, the Adams, has always been under the patriarchal control of my father. As he and myself are not really on very good terms, sending poor Elizabeth here was terribly rude of him, really. You did accept, though? Mm, no, I would say rather I was presented with a fait accompli by Gregory and went along with the intention of helping her. But this is my castle. And everyone is the master of their own home. You're the one who killed her. The poor girl was condemned, Jeez. Louis. Don't you think it better that she stopped living like a slave, being mentally raped by my wow. father since the day she was born? I mean... You're joking. You don't know everything. She might have recovered from everything she had suffered. Between the unyielding control of my father and your mother's terrible treatments, I wouldn't wish a life like that. Yeah, it's on not anyone. your choice. But it is also true I felt obliged to get rid of her. You'll understand one day, you'll see. So, von Borchert, he was looking for the Alazif for you. Exactly. Alazif has always belonged to my family, Louis, and with good reason. My father wrote much of it. <laughs> Can you tell me what you've done with... What? You mean the Alazif? No, I already know that. Sarah came here with it and got rid of it. I was thinking of Von Bortert. He isn't essential, but he is a trusted person. He's a prisoner at our headquarters in Paris. All right. If you could manipulate us mentally, what's the point of all the theatrics of the conference? Yeah, exactly. You must suspect that we asked ourselves that very same question. For many centuries, we didn't organize any conferences. And most of the time, it ended in civil war between demons. Many of us were killed during this period. The idea of organizing conferences was the answer to everything. The interest being to erect some rules among ourselves. Our family first divided up all the principal countries of the world. Now, whenever one of us wants to propose a major change between these countries, they summon the demon in question and initiate a conference. The demon that initiates the proposition doesn't have to give notification of the subject of the conference beforehand. Consequently, we participate along with our best assets. Once the humans are brought together, the conference begins, but we are forbidden to use our talents to influence the participants. That's the one of your self-imposed rules. In order to expose the subject to all the participants, followed by several days of reflection, during which we are allowed to be persuasive, but not to impose our will. A second meeting closes the conference with a final vote. So, for you it's a game, isn't it? I understand your remark, but after living several centuries, you stand back and enjoy what reflection and pleasure you can. But how do you agree on global policy? Locally, we often have competing interests. And sometimes we start wars between men, which are linked to our disagreements. Most of the time, our father steps in and gives directives, which my family follow to the letter. Indeed, in my opinion, and your father, high you said you were moved on. Je Jesus. What do you mean? I mean that a new era must begin. The old monarchic regimes are outdated, and it's time to evolve. I hope I've answered all your questions, Louis. Uh, yeah, I guess. Come. I have something to show you. I'm never getting out to that wharf, am I? There, There is one question that remains to be answered. Why me? Why tell me all of this? Oh, 
Haven't you guessed yet? Maybe I'm, uh... Hmm. I can see where he's going. I've got an idea, but it might seem stupid. Trust me. Am I one? I mean... Yeah, exactly. Am That's I what I was going to say. Would you like that? Kinda. I must admit that the idea is appealing. Look, we are of the gods, Louis. He's oh, saying we. have been. You, as much oh. as me. You are one of us, Louis. What? You too are a demon. Are you serious? You know it. Deep down inside, you know I am telling you the truth. How? Where do you think that natural charismatic presence comes from? Your just talent must already have manifested itself somehow. Just because I'm charismatic? Have you ever had any visions? No. Uh, it. yes. Have you never found yourself suddenly inside someone else's Yes! Oh, yeah! Why? No. Whilst asleep? Absolutely. That's how it often happens the first time. Your spirit wanders unconsciously. My mother can't have lied to me about that. It's true. Your real mother would never have lied I... to you. Uh-oh. I... What do you mean? Louis. I would rather you found this out from her own lips, but it's important that you know. Sarah is not your mother. I... What? I'm sorry you had to find out this way, Louis. But you must know the truth before you commit an irreparable act. No, I... No. It, no, it's not possible. You are my son. What? <laughs> Liar! Oh. Peru. Well, well. So now you're his bastard. You really took me for a fool. Don't make a move, you clowns! Everybody keep calm. Don't say a word or I'll shoot your kid! Ah, uh, not so clever now, are we? At last I found a way to put the pressure on you, Mortimer. Look, just calm down, monsieur. You stopped me from ending it all. Oh boy. Because of you, I've had to pay for it. You don't know what it's like. He's in your head. He's in your soul. I never want to feel that again. Jack, I did not betray you. You're just like him! Immune to this. Monsieur Peru, I don't even know what nice. this is all about. It's quite simple. You're like them. If that's enough to make me unforgivably evil, then I prefer you shoot. But I don't feel as if I've changed. I'm, I'm still the same man I was an hour ago. They will corrupt you. It's inevitable. You might and be right. I won't be able to resist like you are now. Uh, well, give me the benefit of the doubt. Think about it a moment. So, what are you going to do now? You've just found out your true nature. What difference does it make? Well, Jack, I can assure you that what Lord Mortimer just told me makes no difference. That's what you think. But you're already in his hands, and you don't even know it, Louis. No, Jack, it's the contrary. Everything that's been happening here has been carefully planned by the Golden Order for months, and everything is going exactly as planned. Lower your weapon. It's all right. It's over. You'll make it through, and you're going to get your life back. You're just like him. You are already. Jeez. You can't see it, or you don't want to see it. But it's already. That's this guy. He's just too Jack, easily influenced. I haven't got any choice. You always have a choice. You know very well what will happen to you if you shoot me. Oh boy. Daughter will grow up without a father. You're going to be held yep. accountable, and you will lose everything, starting with your freedom and then your head. I told you, I don't care. Your daughter might. Yourself, maybe. But what about your daughter? It wouldn't be the same for her, would it? Shut up! Shut up! She will be alone, in a world that you know is hostile. What will become of her? I... That's true, but... Don't abandon her. Not a second time. It's your last chance, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> it's over. Come now. <laughs> you know what I told you. Evil and good depend on you, and not on your nature. <laughs> yes, it's true, and the same holds true for all of us. Monsieur Peru. I am willing to overlook this latest scene. You He's can just thank a my mess. son for that. I think, however, that you are to take your leave for your good and ours, as well as that of your daughter.
He just he's like all over the map. Has been for a long time. Understandable. Especially if he feels like everybody just manipulates him nonstop. Not too shaken up. You've experienced many significant events since your arrival. You could say that. To tell you the truth, I don't get much time to ask myself those questions. Quite right. Best not to react to all this too suddenly. Take some time to think about it all. For now, I think you ought to find Sarah, my son. You ought to talk things over with her. So she's been lying to me all along? Let her justify herself. What's done is done. Oh, this will be interesting. Sarah must explain herself. You must clear the air. We'll have all the time we need to talk afterwards. But all in good time. B before you join her, I'd like to give you something. As a demon, I would like to introduce you <laughs> to your first <laughs> talent. What is it? What do you mean? Open your mind, my son. Relax. You hold immense power. It's already there inside you. Empty your mind of all thoughts. Just let me show you the way. I should relax. Open your mind. How? Hear my voice. Feel the vibrations and listen to what has been happening to you deep inside, but which you have been concealing. Trust yourself. It's all already in there. I... I can hear something. Now breathe. It's... A sound very, very faint. That's right. Concentrate on it. My voice is growing fainter, but I am here. I... Whispers. Words. Mixed voices. Mm. Focus on one of them. Don't be afraid. I... I sense a stream. Some words are clear, but... Not all of them. Let them enter into your mind. I hear them. Now, now oh. I can hear a clear voice. Well done, Louis. Congratulations. What was it? You are now able to read people's minds. What? Oh, I, what? <laughs> you heard me. From now on, whenever a human speaks to you, you will be able to read their current thoughts. So, if you need to know something in particular from someone, all you have to do is make oh, them think about it. Oh, that's a literal game changer. <laughs> Great! <laughs> uh... But it, it'd be a violation of their most intimate thoughts, wouldn't it? To begin with, there's nothing obliging you to do it. You already had the ability without even knowing it. I just gave you Doesn't the option my question. of putting it into practice, if you want. Moreover, it would be wrong to evoke morality here. Every species is different, Louis, and this is the way we are made. That's all there is to it. I can get you behind are that. free to use this talent or not. And what's more, it will be up to you to decide what to do with the thoughts you read. That is where the values of right and wrong do come into play. There are also a few rules you need to know that govern this New talent blood. when used between ourselves. You can read the thoughts of demons as well as of humans. But be careful. A demon more experienced than yourself will know that you are spying and will often react quite violently. So like it's him considered and bad form to play around the Sir psyche of another demon. It's a question of courtesy. But let's be clear. What is most considered bad form is getting caught. So I would advise against trying to read the thoughts of Gregory. Exactly. For example. Home? Yes, the old grump is touchy and rather a stickler about the conventions. On that note, go and see Sarah, Louis. Otherwise, she might leave without you. We'll continue this discussion later if you want. Just join me in my study when you've finished. Okay, thoughts reading. You are now able to hear the superficial thoughts of your interlocutors. Interlocutors? All right. Each use of mind reading costs one essence point. You can earn back. You can earn one back when confronted to an immunity. Two by exploiting a vulnerability, and three by consuming a devil's thorn. 
Okay. One back when confronted to an immunity, two by exposing a vulnerability, and three by consuming a Devil's Thorn. <laughs> well, he just said we shouldn't do it, right? Like, I gotta try it. Let's see what Mortimer is thinking about. Let's see. He is thinking he might not have been clear enough <laughs> with you when I told you not to try I knew to it. lead into Gregory or our uh, we had to try it. demons. All right. It also applied to me, of course. Yep, fair point. You, you can hear me think? Of course I can. I can sense you. For the moment, your mind shines like a thousand lights because you haven't yet mastered the art of concealment from the psyches of others. So... I give you a weapon, and the first thing you do is try to shoot me with it. Come on, if man. My Not fair. If my evil, you would already <laughs> be at my mercy. So be very careful on whom you use the talent. Okay. All right. Please excuse me. And I... don't ever apologize, my son. <laughs> you are far above that from now on. Now go. One more thing. If you want to know the truth about your birth, Ask her about Paris, 1763, at 12 Rue des Martyrs. That's where she disemboweled your mother to steal what? you from me. What the frick? Okay. So... It's not that I regret all these discussions, but I must hurry to the wharf. You know what's funny is, like, there, are, there have been times... Oh, look at this. This looks like that that symbol that we found too um there have been times where we would be talking to somebody and the, our lips wouldn't move and you're thinking like from a game perspective maybe that's just like it's poorly coded or they didn't fix that part or they need to patch it or whatever but wouldn't it be interesting i don't think this is the case but wouldn't it be interesting if in fact those were all this kind of innate mind reading coming in or like yeah that would just be it'd be a little bit mind blowing.